it's the two of us it can happen if we try just the two of us you and i just the two of us it can happen if we try just the two of us you and i you and i bam ba, bam ba, bam Let's just cue some doty doty do do dots. Let's just cue some doty dots. Actually, probably should remove that because otherwise everyone can see the porn that I was playing. Do 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 do. Made in Brazil is now versus Tailu. Tailu. Tanu. Who the fuck is that? What the fuck do I have? Oh, it's Saber Light. Oh, fucking hell! I forgot who the fuck that was. Hey, what's your MMR now? Uh, terrible. Uh, my MMR is fifty nine four. Did I win last night? Oh shit! I won last night. Ha! I forgot I won. Woohoo! Two wins away from six k. We're crawling our way downtown. Crawling slow. God, I had like the most annoying PA yesterday in my game. I died in the lane um, to like a lane that I obviously would die to. And he was like tipping me every single time I died. I died twice in the lane and I think I died three times in the entire game. That fucking piece of shit. Sorry. I get sometimes reasonably tilted when I think about people that are assholes. They're playing another lich game. Oh, ripped on. I haven't played Venge in a long time. Let's go Venge. I'm gonna go Hoodwing 5. At Marcy Pulse 5 going naked Midas in 5.7k. Sounds like a lot of fun. Blue spams, SK, or Primal Beast. Probably would have wanted that to know slightly sooner. Uh, let me see. I was playing Wyvern with a TA, mind you. And we were laning against a... Oh, yeah. Uh, that guy and a Legion Commander. So, yeah. I, I, as Wyvern, can't do anything against a Legion Commander plus the most broken hero in the game. Fucking Dawnbreaker. And he picked TA into the Dawnbreaker plus four. So, he just threw the hammer and we burned and we died. Oh wait, I'm there. They probably have a Zeus 4. I would assume that guy is off late. Yeah, I can't do anything against Zeus 4. Because Zeus 4 is just going to... I, I hope it's a Zeus 5. And a Pudge 4. Because then I can place a Sentry Ward against a Sand King. Otherwise I can't. And that is kind of super shitty. Uh, Do I go for that? Yeah, I kind of. Yeah. I'm spamming Visage, Dawn, and Skywrath plus four. I'm spamming a lot of Wyvern. Coddle. Bit of... 
Pugna, but I haven't played Pugna in a while after the nerf. She kind of fell off. I don't really know why I'm picking Hoodwink specifically right now. I just felt like playing Hoodwink. The time for preparation is short. Use it wisely. I definitely think I'm going to need to get some... Probably like a Glimmer Rush this game. I'm keen. So I guess I'll go... Frankel's go Glimmer. Maybe I'll make the sages. Do I go for the Ring of Basi? Actually, or do I go? I'm king. Spirit, you're going uh, urn? Or. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to the big Okay, then I'll go urn. Did he just say he's going Shadow Blade? <laughs> he's like Pulse 4. Are you going Urn? No, I'm going Shadow Blade. Are you... Bro, what? That's not yeah, one of the options. So. Who we fighting? Yeah, very likely. So, uh, rip all the wardings ever. It's how I, live. I hope to God it's a Zeus 5 and not a 4. Otherwise, I can't Don't even battle. place a fucking sentry against uh, Zeus to, uh, uh, tanking top. I don't want anybody calling the shots. Listen. Put his butt, put his butt. Ah. What, another one? Whee! Yep. Wait, we have an axe mid? Probably the right way. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to uh, deal with the. Uh, My tail's a sail. With the Zeus's shenanigans, this game, unfortunately. Anyone know where we're going? Hey, hold this target for guide. I'm under attack. Okay. Just follow my trail. Denied. Fuck you. Got any scrog? <sighs> so you went burrow level one. Nice. Leave it. Fuck. Yep. Yeah. Now you tell me. Wait, did he? Oh no, he didn't. Oh, right Can't toward that camp. I would have thought he did. No, that way. Why is that guy constantly pulling? Fuck off. Yeah. God In blood trails. Oh! Oh my God! Fucking creeps don't hit me for some reason. No worries. Time to kill something? What's over uh. here? Always a step ahead. Fuck you. No, this way. Guess what comes next? I'll suss it. <laughs> Wicked. <sighs> Hey, listen to this. That's the one. Got ya! Ah. Fuck! I almost had my urn of shadows finished. Yeah, the problem is I can't, like, counter ward and defend what I just did. It's a really annoyingly toxic piece of shit lane. Just doing my part. Just follow my tail. 
You smell something? Sorry. Not yet. I usually like my cheese to myself. Not to kill some fertilizer. Drop your gun. I want to secure bottom one. Be careful. I have no mana to touch. Bro, yeah. this is so much fun. I'm really enjoying the lane. You couldn't stop me. Uh, Axe, can you take the prone? I, I think I should pack yourself with. Yeah, I see it. What? This way. I probably should have bought a. That shit. Fuck you! Yay! Had to leave you cracked and bleeding. That worked. Somehow. I don't know how. Don't ask me how. But that worked. Yep. Oh, fuck, fuck stole our bounty. Bitch! Or they did. I'm gonna stack and then it? I'm gonna go back. Hey, twenty boy. You couldn't stop me. Probably should have ran back to base sooner. Uh, that reminds me, is oh they actually for some reason don't have live bets available for the uh. Just follow my tail. Fnatic Polaris game. Ah, uh, Fnatic's probably gonna win regardless. Even though my prediction would have actually been Polaris. No worries. Am I here and there? Or neither here nor there? I'm keen. I'm always on the right track. Radiant currently makes the ultimate sacrifice. Always watch when you're walking. This way. I wanna I'm charging me to secure one. I'm I wanna secure bottom one. Trail. Trend time. There's room button box, you can take it. I'm gonna. Uh, don't forget to get raindrops, Weaver. Oh, fuck, just heading top. Oh, he's uh, TP the way. He's TP the base. Ah, okay, he's, okay. Uh, got them on. No, no worries. Ripper. It's all on the way. This way. Yeah, they, they pulled again. Axe, this case, I'm leaving it for you. That's the one. And I'm touching boot in a second when I see. Hey. Everything got just a little bit keener. Sure. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I throw some shade. This is the bottom, guys. I come running away. Uh huh. Afternoon, my good sir. Hello. How are you today? Awesome. This is good. Always a step ahead. We're shanking uh, farms this camp. I'm a clear it. Is he gonna pull? Do you think? Maybe? Nah. Listen. Oh fuck, he doesn't have it. Probably. Ah, oh, fuck way. it. Wicked. Oh, he's level six? Yeah. Back. Double damage! Yeah. Oh. Sweet ass, I should get heaps of these. What do you think? Can't get the fucking ma. Uh. Yep. Chill, bro. Nah, 
Nice, nice. This is worth it. This is worth it. Take it. I think. No complete ward. There we go. Get that place uh -huh. down. When's the murder start? Leave it. Face it, can I go in? Got any scrog? Back, 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 back. Yeah. Okay, I'll head top then. Touch free. Gold for me. Your top tower is under attack. Radiance courier has been killed. Do 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 do. Let's run run run. I'm gonna stack jungle a little bit for Weaver, but it's okay. They are with two replaced players. Yeah, Polaris is not having the best time. That is. He just get. Oh, Weaver doesn't actually have uh, raindrops. Don't forget to get raindrops, even though you know, just for Zeus alt and shit. I'm running. Oh, fuck. Oh, enemy puck has Witchblade. Leave it. Got any scrog? That's not good. I'm always on the right trail. Three camp stack, by the way. I'm keen. For the Weaver. I'm gonna go watch that demolition. Be right back. Aight. I'll lead the way. That's the one. I'm charging, but I'm really far away. I'm charging for a vision. You have a bounty? Yay! You're amazing. I love you. Have my babies. No, Puck's here! Fuck! Fuck off! You got a lot of stacks here. No worries. You've Can I get this? You want to know where we're going? <sighs> yep. Time to kill something? Trampin' time. Let 
I'm getting a bunch of XP from the Weaver killing everything. Nah, yeah. Bottom tier one is not even taking any damage. Also, we have a bounty hunter. As a core. I'm not too happy with. I would like to say, state. Nope. Sand King TP'd bottom. Yeah. Dip this way. Who we fighting? One in the groove. Wicked. Probably the right way. I would have expected them to like this meat? be here. Is this a back meat? Back, oh, back King's back. It's funny because it's really unwinding. Oh no! Could have hide this. Oh. Fucking hell. <sighs> Bro, I'm going for Maelstrom as well. I don't think Weaver's gonna be enough to deal with PL. I'm gonna try and bring in some extra damage myself. Probably gonna fail miserably, but man can hope, man can dream. My God, can't believe it. Got any straws? Tailor, trailer. What this way? Doing my part. Uh, uh. Always a step ahead. Time to kill something? Your middle tower Ever. is defending Ever. itself. Yep. Pause a peddling. Your middle tower is under attack. Long you couldn't has stop that tower me. stood against the rising. We got Orchid and we have other tools. But they're all just a couple of like okay-ish tools. They're not. Oh fuck me! What the fuck is he doing? I'm coming in. What? Oh, fuck! I'm on the other side. He's just gonna cut it every single time. Yep. 
Like, we can't do anything against PL. The lineup is shit against PL. And we need a lot more items to deal with him. Kinda rough. Got no ult on this guy. Hmm. Sand King, Sand King. My tail's a sail. You ever feel really exposed? And now I'm also dead. No, 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 no. I'm under attack. I'm just about naked. Pick a lung. Fuck me. Ah, that's a fight without the PL. Yeah, he's the Fusal Manta. I don't think we can win this. Which is, of course, sadness, but... Can't refute the truth! So, oh my god. I hate this so much. I know they have a ward there. I want to counter that fucking ward. I wanted to counter it ages ago. I mean, the ward might have now already been disintegrated and taken care of. Uh, Your middle tower is under attack. As has our hopes and chances for this game. <laughs> Sup, Rodney? How are you doing? I'm getting owned. Too nice playing against the Zeus. Bet the one. I just want to get some wards down, bro. And a Milsrim, mainly because then you need as much. Ah, oh, no. Damn you, tower. Oh, I'm dead. Getting zero trick kills. It's a bit sad. There was pure. There was pure. Okay, scare. Fuck has an arcane rune. Yeah, we need to be five. We need to be five and can fight. Okay. Avoid there that I have been trying to count toward the last three minutes. But they're just defending it. Bounty off lane still sucks. I can come to Sky, but they're really close. Yeah, I see it. What the fuck? How does he. Oh, 
You like Bro, how does that snap when I'm standing still? What? How does my coil snap when I'm literally standing still? Doing nothing. Bro, what? I am beyond baffled. <sighs> and Bounty is gonna get fucked, duck, duck. Bounty is gonna get fucked, duck, duck. Fuck you. Bounty hunter offlanes always do who suck, always do, always do who suck so much, oh fucking suck, fucking suck. Da, 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 da. It is all wahank. Da, 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 da. What did you share? Back to losing stream. How did my leash break there? Chakupi! I still have no idea how my leash broke. It literally just randomly broke. What? Back to losing stream? Yeah, we're back to losing stream. It happens if you've got an offlane bounty hunter. You can't do shit. It sucks. It's garbage. 99% of the time you just lose the game. Literally not a single command issued. I was literally just standing still hoping for that fucking thing to disappear. And sure. Boom. Coil snaps. Cool. That actually is one of the more tilting fucking moments. I I I am going to have to use that clip because I that 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 clip's bullshit. Why 
Once I got coiled while TPing and the coil broke in my fountain. Didn't cancel my TP. Weird ability. Yeah, this game is still in uh, early alpha, as we can clearly see every single time. Suka, 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 suka. Oh, wow, he's calling people trash when he picked PL when we literally had null counters. He's really fucking good picking a PL against a lineup that has zero counters to PL. And then winning the game. Oh my god, he is amazing. That guy must be have my babies. Like a person picks Alchemist last pick and and they win the game because he outfarms everyone and they have zero ways to kill him. Oh my god, I'm amazing. Bro. Bro. I don't think people fucking understand anything about the game if they think that because they picked luckily enough and no one counted them that they are amazing. And I was going to the major source talent now waiting for resurgence. Ooh. How does that snap when I'm standing still? Yes. I still don't get it. Who would you remove from this battle of the ancients? Five seconds remain. <laughs> bullshit game. I call bullshit on this entire game. And Wyvern gets banned again. Fuck you guys. Stop banning my Wyvern. It's my free MMR hero, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Coddle then. Fuck you. Up T1 beats Boom tomorrow, and Fnatic's not secured yet. Talon most likely. I mean, Talon's looking so good this season. Okay, let's see. Kateru. Uh, what am I laning with? Uh, not sure yet. Oh, he wants to go Bristol Bakuru. Or not. They do have those two. And Bristol ba uh? San King Ruru or Saru Ruru Ruru.
Uh... Okay. Was kind of sad that Resurgence lost a boom. Really want Resurgence at Major than boom. Boom! Here comes the boom! Hmm. I got Wraith King. I got Wraith King. He doesn't really use any of my mana. Bro, what? Look at that eye. Oh my god, that's so horrifyingly creepy. Uh, just staring at your soul. It's as certain as my choice of air. This one is in the bag. The honor is mine. Um it's gonna go for Shine on. No epic Anyone going for vessel, by the way? Clockwork? It's brilliantly clear that this one. Is in the bag. It's in the bag. I am honored. Wait, sorry, I didn't hear you. I said you can buy it if you want. Okay, then I'll buy Vessel if no one's gonna go. Vessel, you're Very dangerous. By your leave. You're alone on bots. They have. It's hardly a challenge. Just 30 seconds now. A leading light. Bum, bum, bum. Looks like old order is taking down Imperial at map one. Nice. I had, I think, 50 bucks on them. Uh, what? Or map one. We grab that bounty before they do. First blood! Now we must not the first taste of revenge. <laughs> Where to? Because it is a dish best served cold. The light shines. My quest continues. I knew it. Bitches. Get counter warded upon by the OGDK. Wait, you punk. Over they have zero regen on them bottom lane. You got Wraith Fire Blast? I know you don't. Ride ahead. Yeah, I think I pulled the one. By all yeah. Radiance Courier has been killed. Uh, what? All who step onto the battlefield. Risk this ultimate price. Fucked. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Damage me, bitch. I got regen. You ain't got shit. You don't even have the doo-doo. Oh my god, he's actually dead. He actually just got cracked that way. A milestone. We got a couple of kills on these bitches. Allow me. Three seconds. Go, go, go. I am honored. Tis hardly a challenge. Oh. Yes. And then I started blasting. Not 
Fuck you. The light shines. Over here. Shit, I don't have any. Ah, oh, he still has a bunch of dangos. Oh crap. By your lead. Now where was I? Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh, that one creep that chased me is saving Pugna there. He probably would have been smack and doodled. You drop it? Right. I'll also just get him a healing self. We are breaking. I am honored. What have we here? What's that you say? I'm under oh! I'm actually severely annoyed at the fact that he survives that with no HP. I know he's got a healing self up as well. My quest continues. Oh. Kundalini. I have to have this. Yes. Shit. Shit. My beard grows longer. A milestone. I guess I'll just continue with the boots. Oh, drop. Drop. Shine on. Chakra. As the yellow. What? Look, look, look. Bench. My quest continues. Missing Pugna. By your leave. A milestone. Ah, oh, you went to mid. I'll ride ahead. Your middle tower is defending itself. <sighs> Over here. Trying to run in. Now you must What comes next? Oh, Wraith can console the lane bottom, I guess. I'm almost level six. What? Allow me. The light shines. Yeah, He's fight till level eight. Where to? Oh my god. Regeneration? Hmm. This guy is weak. Allow me. 
about me? The light shines. Hope is missing. Start, start, baby. Why he didn't stop? Hmm. It's hardly a challenge. Okay. Well. Hope is missing. A leading light. It's going okay, I guess. I think. I don't actually know. Thank. Uh, everything is getting full free farm though. So, so that's like a super plus. They big top. I'll be coming. I'll ride ahead. Kundalini. Over here. The honor is mine. Now where the was enemy I? The attacks your bottom tower. Got a heal coming in. Is on cooldown again. They are leaving Venge alone to farm though, and he's already halfway towards his act. My mid laner stole my Thorn right, like level five. Over here. Dire structures are fortified. Where were we? Shine on. Up above the It's not time. Is hardly a challenge. That tiny is actually gonna pop a fucking toe. My quest continues. By your lead. Huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Like that's the that's most. Right. One of the most tilting things that you can do for a for you know especially like a clockwork a hero that barely ever gets his fucking oh my god oh it's already too gross Tiny is the only one that. You can play as Escort, you know? I can buy Sentry and stuff. Do you hear me? Uh, wait, you talking to me? Yeah, yeah. I, I said if you want, play uh, like a uh, position for you, know? Oh, I can buy okay. And stuff. Then I will do that. I'm really small this game. I mean, it will be better, I guess. Yes. What a free farm, guys. Here's hardly a challenge.
Oh, Mises guys, be careful. What are we here? Where were we? Chicken. Allow me. Can you help me with the bot, please? I'll ride ahead. I feel like it's a uh, shock man Three top at least. Ah, oh, fuck, and it connects on to me. I got Vessel now. Uh, take down that tower okay next item um i'm just gonna go dagon then that you say yes over here Ooh. necro nuisance shine on where were we I'm not sure if we can push guys we have ST we have Necro really hard to push Fuck the water as well. The honor is mine. What's the bottom? My quest continues. <laughs> uh, what? Necro has travels, he will join. Right? I didn't want to. Where you can kill one. Where to? Chakra. I have vision somewhere here. My quest continues. No. Yes. The path I sort of. Right for the moment. The middle tower the is under attack. Shines. Okay, my farm, I guess. Thank you. I'll take it. I'll take everything I get. Wanna bet on Australian the CSGO Aussie CS Gek W? Allow me. A milestone. Guys, behind, behind, go back, go back. Fuck off. This way. Go back, go back. By all Get that bitch off me. What's that you say? Fuck. Killing spree! Double kill! I'll ride a cow! Wait, what? 
I almost have the day gone, and then we're gonna go ham on. When did he kill it? Anyone remember? Now where was I? Kundalini. Feel like it was like eleven minutes of twelve. Okay, now I got day gone. The light shines. A leading light. Have to initiate on SD or Magda. I play Fusion. Come with me. Come with me. I play Shine speed. on. Ooh. Cool. That's good vision. Dagon! Imperial lost map one versus order. This will be interesting. I actually went for order map one. I am not the fastest hero. I don't know what's happening. Live. God, that bug does fast! I just checked it. It wasn't up three seconds ago. If it's up right now, that's bullshit. It's luckily enough not bullshit. Continues. Shine on. Looks like freaking. Where were we? Look, shot the bitch. The honor is Denied. Oh, no. Someone's right there. Guess give the shard to Tiny? They don't have mana drain, do they? What's that you say? I need shard as well. Yeah, but Tiny gets that tree grab thing, which is OP. DD for you, Wraith King. Yeah. 
Get rid of the fucking ward. Oh no. My quest continues. Yeah, Ursa was back, so I dipped. Go push up, guys. Yeah, push up mid. Okay, that was a little bit terrifying. We can go on top. We have good vision. Or it isn't supposed to be good. They aren't, but Imperial is also a really I shitty team. Br Dude, it's Brazil Dotes. Uh, Brazil Seas Go. Brazil Esports. Let's take the Brazil Esports. Maybe I should get Ags at the stage. Now take me much easier. A milestone. What? Uh, who actually? Oh, he has the ages. Okay. Help me play soft, so Dire structures are fortified. The light look, look, look. The honor is mine. No, no, it's not. What's that you say? Oh, he's got a load sorb now. Bitch. I know why we didn't just take the tier 2 tower mid. Yeah, Wraith King's not there. Wraith King's not there. Run. Just run. <laughs> that attempt of his. <gasps> oh, that was kind of funny. I, I want to push right. top, top right, guys. What's that you say? Here's hardly a challenge. I'm not really going to come. What's the top? What's the top? This is fun. This is enjoyable. This is a good game. See if there's anyone in the trees, shall we? Fine. Oh, we still have the tier two mid. Yep.
You just got your baited. Some fanatics uh, still dis despite the deficit. Wait, is the draft for game two up? Blaris. Oh, yeah. They're looking good. The enemy's middle tower passes into history. Probably sh should. This was fun. <laughs> they won a fountain die. That fucker away from me! There we go. He's not moving, so he. He can't be far, he can't be farmed, he's not moving. Lame! <sighs> they actually don't have that game for some reason on uh, Cloudbet. Which is surprising because they have Dota 2 Champions League on Cloudbet. By the way, Tony, have you finally signed up on there? Yeah, bitch. Did I get MVP? I didn't even check. Yeah, boy! MVP! Which are you talking about? Uh, Cloudbet. The, um, the one where I think you needed a VPN for it? You make an account, I'll give you 10 bucks with a Litecoin on that website. Using, of course, my affiliate link. Obviously. Otherwise, that would completely defeat the purpose. I assume you have a VPN. Still think Imperial will probably take the series. Made in Brazil versus Panu. But map two is Mirage. And Imperial are winning on the T side. That is pretty impressive. 
overpass is map two or Tyler versus Mary we Hill. Okay. Maybe if they make it like a 11 4. 10-5, I think Ty uh, made in Brazil can come back in map 2. In, uh, because they're swapping to the CT side, it's fairly CT sided for the most part. I definitely think that the comeback is possible there. Check the odds if they're reasonable for made in Brazil to take map 2. I'll 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 toss in ten bucks. Rare Atom, I can see Rare Atom over to, Yeah, but then Rare Atom also beat Imperial. I'm not betting on it. Oh, no, but I am. I oh, know you aren't because you're a pussy. <laughs> Sorry, I just had Oh, they beat Made in Brazil. True. That was it. They beat Made in Brazil. Brazil. Da, 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 da. At them fanatic comeback. Yep, but f I don't really get why they don't have that game right now on cloud bet and the live bet. Stunks, 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 stunks. Do they even have a late game draft on Fnatic? Oh yeah, they have hella late game draft. Like by far, I mean fucking Enigma, Wyvern. Like their lineup is so greedy on Fnatic. No shit that they're gonna win. I want that game as well. I want to bet on the Fnatic win. Give me the W there. Polaris draft is ultra mid gamey. I, th I don't think it's early because Rubik is definitely not an early uh, hero. And I mean, Pango, like they're really heavy on the mid game. Rubik is a mid game hero. Pango is a mid game hero. Uh, the Nate's Prophet is a mid game hero. Even the fucking white uh, Coddle. Like they do, they do okay. They should not have stomped the lanes this hard at all. That's definitely a whole other different uh, issue that has transpired, it seems.
By the way, for the people that don't know, we are loading into the Dota 2 Champions League right about now. Oh my god, I just got a fucking... Sometimes you have those moments in your life where you feel like you're getting old. I just had a a, a a jolt of lightning go through my back. Yep, that makes me feel like I'm ancient. Oh, for now to come back from worst. Yeah. Again, stronger teams as well. Oh, it looks like Made in Brazil might uh, lose game two. Actually, what are the odds still for game two? Okay, right now they're 5.61. They, they got 13 2 If they win the pistol, maybe... Luxembourg is playing? against Blue Jays. Who the fuck is in Luxembourg? They all... There's a guy in the Luxembourgian team called Blackie and another guy that's called Taking the Piss. Okay, my guys. Actually ahead of the Blue Jays. That would be fucking hilarious if a team of complete nobodies comes in. Oh, rare! A what is rare atom? By the way, I see that they also have a league team. That like another crypto or something. They were previously known as Vici Gaming. Wait, what? Oh, their league Rossi used to be Vici Gaming. I don't have a fucking clue. Normally when I don't know where an orc came from, I almost immediately go towards the crypto route and expect them to be like some fucking, you know, some rich ass uh, fake coin that uh, sold their souls ages ago. To be fair, I'd sell my soul for a bunch of money as well. Those make it look so terrible in those movies where it's like, sell your soul for a bunch of nice shit. Sounds like a good deal to me. My soul ain't worth shit. That sounds like a bargain. Still waiting for my bookie to settle DGG bet. I. It happens. But uh, while you're waiting for that, you might as well sign up a cloud bet. Mm. Right, right. Actually, I'm going to check. Did that work out? Oh. Oh, wait. Crap. Yeah, I need to open up my WhatsApp. So, I already read that.
Hypnotic versus Polaris. Oh, Polaris. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, made it Brazil's lost game two pretty much because they lose the pistol, I think. Do you have so much faith in Imperial? I believe, bro. I believe that Australia sucks donkeys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Should not insult the Aussies that much. But yes, they do suck in CSGO. The days of, uh, what was that team back in the day again? The, uh, uh, fuck. You had one team in Australia that was pretty good. With the Lias and JKS. Renegades, yeah, Renegades, old school Renegades. That was actually a pretty good team. Yeah, they turned, I think, into 100 Thieves and stuff, but the original Renegades team. And then the guy stopped and became a, uh, a Casa, right? He had, like, Jacob. Let's see. It was the Leah's Gratis Faction, Jake Yas, Azur. Jacob lineup. That was pretty pog. Sponge is the one that was that bro, that was happened in 2016 when he quit. Bro. Sponge. I remember him making that. That's that long ago? Looks like rip m i b r yeah it does look that way oh well rip my 15 bucks and i is doing it actually they're not done just yet though still got a ways to go hydro or ot um I'm actually going to have to quickly scour out my predictions. What did I have? I had Hydra beating Urdu. Which makes sense because Urdu doesn't even play DPC. They didn't qualify for DPC. They haven't really done or shown anything so far. At all. Whatsoever. Man, I realize in CSGO, plus 1.5 on underdogs hits most of the time recently. Uh, yeah, it does. But it depends on, like, what level you're talking about. If you're talking about, you know, the lower level, sure. But when you're talking about, like, the top dogs, like, Navi and shit, it becomes really rough to get that hit. Um... Polaris is so shitty. Didn't they recently get a new coach as well? Uh, d d d Tony, don't don't say that last word, please. <sighs> People have been cancelled for less.
That's okay. Yeah, but you know, if you say it in my chat and I don't reprimand you, it looks bad on me. Wait, you're Chinese? Well then, ni hao to you, motherfucker. My race is Chinese. You're a Chinese Aussie? It is Dio's ban. Radiant's turn to ban. Dio's turn. No, I'm Chinese Singaporean. Only evil is Aussie. Ah. Why so delayed? Because, uh, if I... I hate having to explain this every time. Because if I want to do it with only the base delay of five minutes, I could do it in the lobby, which they gave me access to, but that means that I cannot talk to chat, and I do like talking to chat. Because Dota TV itself has a six-minute delay... Uh, a fifteen-minute delay. I should have like a TLDR section Five bottom of my stream seconds. for just specifically this tournament. So yeah, uh, there is a Russian stream officially as well. Uh, I'll quickly have to look up what the fuck the name is. Uh, Dota 2 Ruhub. That's the, the official coverage of this tournament. It is in Russian, but they have only five minutes to lay. So if you are, for instance, a gambler, better, blah, 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 whatever you want to call it, it might be for the better if you check it out over there but if you just want to sit back relax and watch some shitty no not shitty dota actually the next match in this series is uh is vp versus no sorry and then the match after that is gaming gladiators versus entity i'm waiting for sprout match for csgo and entity match for dota Ooh, who did you go for, by the way, on Entity versus uh, Liquid? Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Bro, the match of Fnatic versus uh, Polaris wasn't on Cloudbet, but the fucking Hydra versus Urdu match is. I haven't betted, but I prefer Entity. Yeah, my prediction was also Entity. I believe in Pure. He's a god. If he doesn't play OD safely, and please, god, Ten no. Seconds remain. Pure is so fucking good. Five Sucks seconds. that his name is already blemished by his, you know, the Z actions. Turn to ban. And also, like, the rest of the lineup's amazing because it got two! My boy Toby, yeah. But yeah, Wyvern DK for Hydra versus a Tony plus a DP. Okay, interesting first picks. Nothing very specific about it. You do know that Rari likes to go for like the weirdest fucking heroes most of the time. I think yesterday he picked Life Sealer two times in a game that wasn't really good for Life Sealer. Because the guy's sometimes just straight up nuts. Although I think Entity Five over GG, seconds. but it's Dota 2 Champions League, so I don't bother. You won't even bother? Really don't really like betting on it. I do. A lot of them are reasonably predictable. Okay, no Razor. Razor ban is a probably a very smart one if you pick a Wyvern and DK. Five seconds remain. They put banned out three just straight up annoying heroes. I guess few games are weird as fuck. But they are in literally everything. Everyone's saying like, oh yeah, DPC is where teams try and the third party tournaments is where people, uh, teams do fuck all. 
Bro, I have seen teams in the fucking DPC do fuck all. A lot. I think they all do about the same amount of effort in DPC as in Dota 2 Champions League. It's just, you know... Like, oh my god, they do it in the DPC, they're amazing! Oh, they do it in Dota 2 Champions League, they're throwing. That That's literally the difference. Oh, a new hero, oh my god, a new line, a setup, oh yeah, it's so cool! And then Dota 2 Champions League, or, you know, Thunder Pick and everything. Oh yeah, no, they th they're throwing the game 3-2-2. Rubik uh, for high... Okay, decent Rubik spell. Not actually great Rubik spell skills. I'm not a big fan of the Rubik choice here. Even though Koval is a level 30 Rubik and loves it. In Winline Dota 2 Champions League, can't trust them even if they go on winning streaks. YNT, No Sorry, Luna, HF, all these teams. Well, yeah, because winning streaks literally mean nothing in Dota. Statistics mean nothing in Dota. That's the beauty of Dota. Polaris could be 10k ahead. Doesn't mean shit. Fnatic beat them. If you were, if that was Dota 2 Champions League, everyone would say, "Oh my God, three two two! Oh my God, fucking reported!" Yeah, now it's Dota uh, DPC. Yeah, they they played really well. Uh, uh, bit unfortunate. Yeah. Too bad. Yeah, but if you don't use the recent results as a reference for predictions, yes, but if a team has five wins in a row, there is going to be a moment when that five wins in a row breaks. So you can't be like, one team is five wins in a row, boom, they're going to win. It is Diamond's ban. DB, that is not a hero Rari picks often. I'm really digging the Hydra Draft at the moment. Even though Rubik's a little bit weirder. But for the most part... Like, you got Cold Embrace against the physical damage of the DP. When Curse is okay, because... Tiny and Luna could kill off one of their supports. They are reasonably tanky on Hydra. They need a lot of damage on Urdu to take down the TP. Think Zeus, think Puck. Uh, which they ban out themselves on Urdu. Uh, thing Void Spirit, Ember Spirit. Actually, you mainly need magic. Oh, Ember Spirit, if he gets a shard, uh, uh, Milstrom at a decent time. You need a lot of magic damage to kill off TV in the early game. Like, in my opinion, Empire can do way better than all these teams, but they are sucking so much. That's because they j just replaced their off uh, safe laner for five different safe laners. What's actually the third map? It's Dust 2 for Tylu versus Made in Brazil. Okay. Okay. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds. I put Urdu versus Hydra, even though I like Hydra's draft more. Game one. 3.6 odds. I put 15 EU down. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da. Hey, actually, order are making it tough for Imperial right now. Slightly. Radiant 
has turned to be. Void Spirit. That's actually a really good hero to deal with the Terror Blade's damage. Also can jump on the wife and pretty like I think everything is gonna come down to noob. Everything comes down to noob. And in the mid lane matchup, they could put the DK off lane or mid. It is still reasonably flexible. But it depends. But it depends really what they prefer right now. I wouldn't mind DK mid because it doesn't really die to the void spirit. And neither does the void spirit die to the to it, though. I guess that's a reasonable plus. Beastmaster. Beastmaster. Good vision gain. I guess that's the most important here. You got good vision with the DK and a Wyvern and a Rubik. Rubik and Wyvern need so much vision to hit their spells, get good spell seals and the like. So the Beastmaster is actually a really good choice. Especially for the Wyvern to get a good curse going. Uh, they're playing four tiny. Mid fight on the side of Hydra, they're putting the DK mid as expected. Wyvern five. The Hydra has a bit more of a greedy lineup, but also a stronger late game lineup. But Urdu can definitely take the mid game if they play it correctly. So I uh, I already wrote my prediction down. I have Urdu taking game one. At 3.6 odds for 15 bucks. Let's see if that works. Yeah, those are odds are good in this tier of Dota, literally 50-50. I would say it's more 65-35 in favor of uh, Hydra, because I think, first of all, they're better. Second of all, they've got a better draft. But I can see avenues where it could be up an upset. And I pretty much went for the avenues where it could be an upset. It is elimination game, which also adds in, you know, a little bit of that extra shit in the back of the minds of the players. But TB is definitely the strongest score in this game. And if this goes late, Hydra should have it mm, almost always. Askeld going for the counter ward here. 30 seconds and counting. Noob has actually been looking really good lately. I don't care, I just hit creeps. I don't care, I just hit creeps. Let's see, I just want to check out ranks. Kid, Ferrari. Prior to the highest rank, Slawi, Noob 120, Russell. Omar's not even ranked immortal. That means Omar plays at my level. Dude. That's a kick W in chat right there. He plays at DK Truman's garbage level. <laughs> Uh, if he plays on matchmaking, he does. Ew. Heat on the side. I guess he wants to get some good arctic burns. They're going to try and... Ra oh, Russell taking a heap of damage there. Courier Snipe comes in from Kikid as well. The extra two seconds on arctic burn makes the hero so much better to play. I love playing Wyvern again. 
Just because he actually has some presence in the laning stage, which he kind of didn't have for the longest time anymore. <laughs> and that is neat. Yes, try to harass a DK. That's going to do anything. And my bookie doesn't have live betting for Dota champs. Bitch. Turn on that VPN. Join CloudBet. And I'll give you 10 bucks for free on CloudBet. Mainly because I need two more people to donate to deposit on CloudBet. And I, you know, th this is at least a way for me to... Make sure that I at least meet that mark. Just do it. Just do it now. They don't ask for KYC. The link is literally in chat right there. Easy does it. Mum's the word. Potatoes are delicious. Also, I got a quick check. Thing on my phone. Hmm. I'll have to sort that out later. Mike Rams at least loves me, Tony. He did it. I'll be creeping while you are I'll be creeping while you are peeping. Kovo? Okay, they're going in onto the clockwork, but he does uh, get himself out of harm's way. And Noob just going to yoink out that bounty rune, plus then secure the water rune in the lane. A bottle from the void. Rara is actually getting pretty good farm. And now that he's popped his meta again, he's probably going to get more. Omar and Russell getting completely pushed back. Omar actually went for a tree grab level. Could go avalanche sauce now and maybe go for a play. I mean, right, not right now because TV has his metamorphs popped up and you most 100% die if you tried to do it there is something there wait what never mind I uh... or he dies when you when you do something there <laughs> how the fuck did he die okay that was surprising to me I don't know how the creeps are even there but because Koval has joined the area, Noob is kind of forced to back off. Look out for fallen rocks. Radiant structures are fortified. Look out for fallen rocks indeed. If your first death is the TB, that is painful. Actually, you know what? I'm quickly gonna have to check. Which coin here?
Well, there they find the kill onto Omar. Koval dropping low. He's stuck inside the cogs. DK looks like you are going to win. I'm always going to win because I'm amazing. Bro, do not add any spoilers to my stream, by the way. Bounty. If that is the case. Noob on the mid is doing pretty much what he needs to. That is exactly what we want to see. Just farm it out. Going for the Witchblade, so he's going to have some nice added burst damage against the TB. No, 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 Tony. You know what you have to do now. Oh, Omar toss back. Onto the Wyvern. Kiki taking a lot of damage. Does have Cold Embrace. Should be able to stay alive. Or will he... Nope. Script Swarm will be finishing him off. Their structures against attack. Yes, Dyer have fortified their structures against attack. Mm. Who gets the first blood? Uh, first blood was for Urdu. They got the kill on Terari, kill on to Askold in the mid lane. That's pretty big. Omar's making some nice rotations on the tiny this game. And the blast won't get a kill in return. Oh, Noob is playing with very little HP. Spent blast almost takes him down. This Rubik's sap should be enough to finish him off. And now that there is a rune, yeah. They have a high ground ward still standing. That is pretty fucking painful. Who gets the first blood? First blood. I already said that. I'm a derp. It's how we to take down the tier one tower in the bottom lane. Have a task, a key. Doesn't have cold embrace available this time around. They're finding a lot of these kills here. They are actually on a tear. Roar comes out. They will find at least Omar in return, but currently, Noob's Witchblade is very close to done. ICQ actually has. Pretty good farm. Slawi is headed towards the bottom lane because they already got rid of the tier 1 tower so he can easily farm that area up. He's got the Mask of Madness going for the Dragonlance BKB. And Noob again gets just caught out by a Koval Zap. My guy. Stop getting zapped by Koval. Now this Rubik's level 6. He's got very good farm for a Rubik Pulse 4. And Noob is just struggling. Anub is the one that is actually going to need to try and deal with the TB every single time. So he's the one that actually needs to not die. Double damage. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Rari just going to go for the Yasha first item. Okay, that does give him slightly faster farm. I'm a little bit worried about the fact that he's going to be super squishy for a very long time. If he doesn't have the Dragonlance. It's the plus of Dragonlance is you get a pretty decent amount of strength added on top. And that is a reasonably big plus. New Witchblade Axe. Greedy. They don't have the best amount. Uh, they do have decent control. DK stun, of course. The, the Roar and the Curse. I guess this is more of a Lincoln's game than a BKB game. Even though I kind of think you would possibly need both. Kikid's going to get locked down so he can't respond. They're looking for more. Kofa's going to be the target here. Lift up comes through. He steals the Astral Step. Omar doesn't have any spells left. ICQ with the roar. But ICQ. I see you. And you're going to die.
Bitch, be gone. Thanks for the live. No worries, Arvin. Yeah, Witchblade's now done, so that's going to be a lot of extra damage with the Astral Step. Exo will be on cooldown, though, so that's a bit of a timing for Hydra to make some kind of play on the map. But yeah, Slawi, he's done with the Dragonlance, but currently Rowdy is second in net worth and catching up pretty quick. Walking in, has his Metamorphosis available. Omar trying to run away. Koval actually staying alive in the process. They get the kill onto Omar. They're walking into the pit? I'm not... I mean, there's no Exo, sure, but they have a Clockwork with Hookshot. They've got a Void Spirit with a lot of AoE magic damage. Okay. They're actually not going to be interrupted in the roast take. That is kind of surprising. Will it get, get stolen by Exxon though? They're trying to block the hook shot. He hook shots in. Does he get it? And he snatches the Aegis. Oh my lord. Look at that clock. Look at that clock. He do be ballin'. At least they get the Roche skill, so they get a decent amount of cash for that. But denying the Aegis at this stage, that's such a good play. Because the first Roche was taken so early, the second Roche is going to be an early one as well, which gets a free shard. And that is a very big power spike if you can get the second Roche plus shard. They're saying go Hydra. Do you mean Hill Hydra? Radiance bottom tower is in danger. Good old uh Fun Yoke. I really love the Marvel Radiance Cinematic Universe. Especially if you watch it a second time. I see you going in on Oma. The hook shot actually from uh, Ixen to keep a Kikid away. Deny the curse play. And he curses Russell. Just to be able to get something done in the process. Ryder doesn't actually have Metamorphosis on the TB. I'm not too sure of him being in this area. Exorcism gets used. They are chasing in after the clock. Who will be taken down. The rest of the team kind of needs to disengage. Slowy, can he get a catch? No curse available for the Radiant side. One for one trade. It does the Mexo though. It's actually in the end not too bad. The first 10 kills. Uh, Well, unfortunately you did. Sorry, Arvin. First 10 kills has been forgotten, or gone, or given away. They failed. That's what I'm, the word I'm looking for. They failed. Okay. They are walking right towards Omar. Doesn't have his blink yet. Is very close. But he does gain vision with the Observer Ward. Roar in 10 seconds. They're looking to possibly get a catch on him. But Noob wants Kikid. Actually, Noob is just going to dip. The Hawk will be at least a nice 60 bucks. I think it actually went in Omar's favor. And Kikit in the trees. Noob really wants that ass, but they do have a high ground ward, which should be known at this stage. Omar spots a Rari Avatars. Can he get the kill? And he does. Rari's dead. Why does he walk in with to 400 HP? Against the tiny, he does get cursed, and that is going to be Omar dying, but he did what he had to, and he did it perfectly. Beautiful kill. 
I really don't get what Rari was even doing there. It's not like you are you have to deny late game. Like, TB right now, all he has to do is farm. That is literally all Rari has to do. AFK farm, get huge to the point where the... Uh, blah, 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 the... Luna cannot outcarry you anymore. That's all you gotta do, my man. And they're giving them a lot of extra time jumping onto ICQ. He will be taken down. Kiki does not have a curse available for 30 seconds. There's going to be the metamorphosis used. Ixen in trouble. The clockwork will pay the price. But again, they find ICQ. So it's a core for a five. It feels like the Void Spirit should have more farm. But Noob is just severely under farm. I guess most of his farm is given to Slowey, but still. Should have more. More, I tell you. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Jump in, they get a kill. Winchkurs gets thrown out onto the tiny. Ooh. It's just gonna get taken down there. Looking for more. Dissimilate does get stolen. Akita in the trees, he won't be able to run away. They'll find a two for two trade because again, they fucking kill Rari who's playing a really, really, really bad game. And find Koval to boot. Three kills secured and they only lost Omar to that winter's curse. Bro, what has happened to Rari lately? I don't really get... Like he's been just off for a pretty lengthy amount of time. I rated him pretty highly. Yeah. Ixen to just walk away. He's going for his own shard. Roche is... Could be up in two minutes. Probably going to take a little bit longer. Rari is going for the Scotty. I mean, at this stage, you should at least... You should almost be done with the Scotty, honestly, with the TB. If you only went for Manta first item... Shot in, Rari TB, Eclipse comes up on top, Rari is dead, they're looking for more, and that is his fifth death of the game. Chat, tell me what the frick is going on. A man's caught everywhere. And they're not even the team that has the vision advantage. Hydra is the ones that have the Beastmaster with the Hawks. Man's driving that struggle bus to the max. Well, the bottom tier one will be picked up. A uh, tier two, sorry. And that should open the outpost for the taking. Noob is almost done with his ags. That's going to at least be a big plus. But on the opposing side, let's see Askold. He's got Blink going for BKB. Rari's still building up that Scotty. ICQ drums after his Helm of the Overlord. Omar's got Blink. That's all he kind of needs. Rubik's also going for Blink. Does have an Aether. Stole the Eclipse, though. How the fuck does he steal Eclipse, Slowey? He has not used a single Lucent Beam afterwards, it seems. For like 80 seconds. He has not used the Lucent Beam whatsoever. Huh. Smoke out from Hydra. They will get themselves Omar. But Omar's already died five times. They even used the Roar and the Eclipse for that.
Oh my god, Hydra, what the fuck? This looks like a team that's completely lost in what they're what they're doing, how they're playing. It's a bit baffling. A tiny bit. Slow is going butterfly. Yeah, before that TB has his Scotty. Um, butterfly is going to be pretty decently done. And then he needs to get an MKB. Otherwise, he can never hurt the Luna. This is actually a really heads up move. Because the TB is so uh, incredibly slow in terms of farm. 35% evasion is going to mean the world if you're playing against the Scotty. Especially against the TB because he has all those illusions. All of them are going to start whiffing like crazy. And you only need the Talisman of Evasion because you can break open that Mask of Madness to get the Quarter Staff and then use the Morbid Mask for Scott. Uh, uh, no, for the... Uh, fuck. For satanic. That's the word I was looking for. For the Satanic afterwards. So he's pretty much done. They full butterfly on the Luna. Well, I guess this is go time. Hit their timings before that do TB gets too fat or becomes too annoying. And there we have it. Butterfly, Dragonlance, BKB. Standing probably next. They are smoked up. Hydra looking for a fight. Can they get a good catch? Anub is in the trees. And he's going for a TP right next to his opponent. Smoke has been broken. And he gets away very luckily. But at least he does manage to survive. Omar TP's out of there as well. That is one smoke gang completely whiffed. They also have... Who the fuck? Oh, Russo has the Load Sword. Uh, yep. Yeah. Load Sword, Lincoln Sphere. I think those are definitely the big items for Urdu this game. Roar, DK Stun, uh, Rubik Spells. Even the spells that he could possibly steal. Sunder, obviously. Curse, a super, uh, superb one to spell reflect or deny. Hiya! They're all so close. Roche is up. That is a free shard, Roche, by the way. That's a big one. Walk up the high ground. Oh, Eichsen, the Aether Remnant, just disappeared. He's going to try and fly his way with the jetpack. Does have a hook shot if it's needed. Can he get away? Now, DK is going to jump in hyper aggressively. Askold with the BKB will immediately try to fly away. He did buy back on Eichsen as well. No meta used. Black. Uh, Elder Dragon form is halfway its duration. And no, the BKB lacking on both the Luna and the DK is the most important part. I mean, on Luna, not so much, but on DK, definitely. Because they have a lot of magic damage on the side of uh, Urdu. Whereas magic damage is kind of... Like, even if you pop a BKB on the Luna... Okay, the plus is you can kill your teammates. Rari? Gotta be careful. Actually, on the side, they're going for a fight. They find Omar, but that means that, yes, indeed, Rari is completely alone. In comes the curse onto Russell. DP dropping. DP not dead yet, trying to get himself away. He's being chased by the ancient ground golem, but he does not even falter. And Russell will be just fine. Has two spirit siphon charges as well. Just needs to find creeps or enemies to heal up or wait for his exorcism to heal him up into the Roche pit. They go double damage just spawning in front of Slowey's face. To head into Roshan, and that should be a pretty nice Roshan take. Can they defend it, though? They do have the burn on the floor. They're trying to keep them at bay for as much as possible, but there is no curse available this time around. Spirit Siphon does get yoinked. 
Which is a pretty good steal. Askold, no BKB for five seconds. Uh, he's in a bit of trouble. Gets cold and brace, staying alive for a bit longer. Askold pops the BKB, he's still dead though. They have too much damage coming out with the Void Spirit and Luna coming in. Kakid on the high ground, he's gonna get dragged down to the low ground. And Slowey gets a triple kill. DD is still on him and he just walks back into the pit. Has that life still going on and that should be Roshan in their favor. ICQ. Just needs to be a little bit... Ixen is very far forward. ICQ is uh, still trying to get some farm going. Omar Blink is being interrupted by the boar. But that is Aegis plus shard for Uridu. And they get the free shard onto the Luna. Yeah, that looks like they're just going to walk away with this game. wasting my money but not your skins I actually don't know maybe you bet skins actually I doing Vincent not quite as slow now for enemies mm. Slowey is going Lincoln Sphere next. Yeah, they're just building a bunch of Lincoln Spheres load swords on the side of Urdu, and that should be just it. There's nothing you can do against that. You just get fucked. All your spells are single target pretty much on your team. All the more important spells, that is. Ixen does get spotted, but Jetpack flies away. Omar wants to go for the tossback, but Asko gets the BKB in time. Stolen avalanche coming out from Koval. Jump in from Noob. They find the kill into the wife. And that is no curse for the for next 45 seconds. They have nothing to fear. Charge forward. ICQ can't even get the roar off. He's going to get feared. Silence everything. Does get away. Just barely. Rari pop the meta. Is not done with the BKB yet. They can just get themselves the tier 2 tower. And wait until the meta is over. And then just walk up the high ground. There's nothing to really push. Did you, Vincent, did you put a hundred bucks on Hydra game one or did you put a hundred bucks on uh, Hydra series? Because that definitely is Hydra series. Then don't worry. I think they're just playing a really shitty game on the side of Hydra. It's normally, uh, Rari has a better game, but... It, you know, his best heroes are off-brand safe laners, like the Dawnbringer and stuff. Dawnbreaker. TB, he's just been caught too many times this game. I, it, granted, it's really well done by their opponents, by Urdu, but still should not have happened. Not to the severity that it has happened. Askold's going for the Ag, so he wants Elder uh, Black Dragon form. I really hope they come back. I don't think game one is really that possible anymore. Jump in. Uh, Tony, nor there are very rarely full-time patchers out there. Most of the time, it's just people at work that are bored. But Rari's again going to get tossed back, taken down. Rari dead. No buyback available. 60 seconds. Does have his BKB, but he just bought it out, so he's lacking in funds. Another tossback from Omar. 
Going in for ICQ. Beast Master is another one. Slowey did lose his first life, but he has the second. Askel trying to get rid of the Tiny on the side, but that won't even be possible. Noob chasing in. E-Blade connects. Askel DK taking a heap of damage. The pushback comes in as well. He actually hit him with the Psychic Headband to push him back. That is so overkill. You have no idea. This is game one. And game one has been secured by Urdu Thunder. Wait, he is actually a full-time better? Jeez. Don't encounter too many of those. Let's go, Tyloo, game number three. Imperial game number three as well. Let's go, Brazil. Let's go, not Brazil. Hmm. I actually have one win, one loss today, Darkseal, from earlier. But I never asked. Oh. Well, then I have no idea. Ryu's positioning could be better. Bro, Ryu's positioning is garbage. In that game, was hot garbage. It was so bad. I he just got caught. Every single time. Sometimes when my fucking apps just die on my phone. I think we gotta check something. Come on. Hmm. How much are the transfer costs for USDT? USDT. Hmm. I'm gonna quickly bio. I gotta transfer funds to someone because they signed up using the cloud vet link.
Okay, there we go. Duration play of map one. Uh, I think it was like 31 minutes. 31 minutes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People that aren't realizing it, by the way, I'm just listening to Lord of the Rings the entire time. Sorry for that. That was a little bit spooking message. Okay, you're rich now. No. I'm still fairly broke. Well, oh, fairly. I'm incredibly broke. Ingredients turn to ban. Dyers turn to ban. Ingredients turn to ban. Oh, 
entity versus liquid game draft a game one draft was finished okay let's look mm. Mm. 10 seconds why are you playing doom five seconds sometimes that guy baffles me <clears throat> Ah, okay, now I got what I need. Radiance turn to pick Dragon Knight. Ripper. Ten. Second Fucking complete. Binance. Five seconds. It is dire. Okay, I'm very close to almost being done. I quickly need to send something over to someone. It's just taking slightly longer than I like. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Hey, where's my Binance code? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Thanks for streaming this, my guy. I needed to see this in English. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, I was a little bit distracted. Um. So yeah, I went for Entity Game One. What are the odds on that one? Entity Game One. Entity Two Point. Okay, I'm gonna go. We gotta set it back to Litecoin entity. Ten C one point six. So that would be five seconds. Hmm. Seconds. Let's see DK Hoodwink for Hydra versus again they pick up the DK for uh Hydra. Asco didn't really do anything last game with it. Versus the Viper Tiny. Viper Tiny is such an annoying offlane duo. Because toss back into Viper means always in free kill. Seconds. Five seconds. Radiant's turn to pick. Dyer's turn to pick.
Okay, a Baron. So you got a Baron probably as a five. I haven't seen a Baron in a while. A Baron is kind of risky against a Viper because, uh, well, you, you have the shield to get rid of the debuff, but he also has the break to make sure that you can't get your ulti off. Undying Snapfire. Looks like a very good Timbersaw game if Hydra picks it. Well, a reasonable one. They have three strength heroes and a Viper. So they're mainly, their plus is that they're tanky. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. It is Dio's ban. Weaver. Weaver! I do, do know that Kova, uh, that Rari likes playing Weaver as a uh, safe lane. Does do it a a lot, to be fair. Dyer's turn to ban. So that doesn't look too problematic to me. Question is, how is Urdu gonna finish up their draft? Because they ha they kind of need either a safe laner, or I would assume. I actually have no fucking clue how they're laning this. Because I thought it was a Viper offlane with a tiny four and then the annoying five, but then Snapfire mid. I'm not so sure about the Snapfire mid. You could put the Viper mid, I guess. Tiny four can still stay. Tiny can also be safe lane. Viper can be. I don't think it's a support Viper though. Maybe it's a Snapfire offlane with a Viper mid tiny four and an undying five? I've seen some Snapfire offlanes lately. They don't have a lot of good control against the Weaver, though. That's one very big problematic point. If Rari just Shikuchi's through the fight, they've got Avalanche, Toss, and Snapfire Cookie. Snapfire Cookie is kind of a skill shot. Later on, if he gets a Blink plus shard, you can get the Shotgun Blast, which is an added stun. But for the most part, Vi Viper and Undying, you just Shikuchi all the way through. Radiance turn to ban. Ten seconds mm. remain. I must choose. Faces Void ban, Luna ban. Faces Void would have been a really good pick against the Weaver. Luna, I'm not too sure. I guess it's pretty okay against the DK. But that's the plus. They can flex this DK as a mid or as an offlane if they want to on the Hydra side. And Urdu's last pick is going to Ten be... No seconds. idea, no idea, no idea. Axe. Axe. Okay, so I guess Tiny Safe, Viper, mid, Axe, off. Snap fire 4 and Dying 5. They have four strength heroes and a Viper. Like, you could flex this Weaver, put the DK mid, Weaver offlane, Hoodwink for a bad and five, and get a Life Stealer. You win the game. Or you just get a Timber Saw. Or get a Zeus? Wait. So it's a Zeus mid against a Viper mid. That's a weird matchup. Don't see that one too often. Yeah, this is a this is a roughy. Hmm. I kind of like Hydra's Draft more. I think the early game definitely is in favor of Urdu with their ridiculously tanky lineup. They actually are playing with a safe lane undying. 
They're playing with a safe lane and dying. What? Huh? Nani the F. Okay. I am fairly surprised at that choice. Prepare for battle. Good luck, have fun. I don't think I've seen a safely and undying yet. This batch. That could be fairly interesting. Just what I've been waiting for. The pattern is complete. The pattern is complete. Thirty seconds to battle. it was the, the, the but yeah okay so this is gonna be an interesting one i guess he's just gonna like buff daddy tank up the match of matches starts now i don't actually know i do know that since they like buffed the decay damage on creeps it's yeah two times damage to creeps you can actually farm a little bit with it and it must be an Ags Rush or something. They got wrecked by Tiny earlier and decided not to ban it. Yeah, because, you know, Omar's not a really god like Tiny. Uh, uh, god like Tiny. You know, Omar's totally not exceptional at what he does. I, but I'm like more baffled at the fact that we're seeing a fucking undying five uh, safe lane. Actually, he doesn't buy a quelling blade though. I'm very curious about this. Also, Zeus is actually not a bad pick against the enemy team. Once he gets his shard, uh, all of his spells do 9% of their current health, which is, well, it scales against strength heroes, obviously. And, 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 and it also scales really well against undying, for instance. I see Q getting bullied out by Slowey. They are definitely lacking control. Luckily enough, Axe can bring that. Still a bit harder to get a good control going onto a Weaver. But it also feels like Weaver can't do much this game, considering how incredibly tanky the opponents are. The minus armor is going to be very big from the swarm. Nice toss back. Rari is actually dropping low. Can get away. No Shikuchi. And he is dead. That is first blood for the tower. Ooh, denied, bitch. Get owned on. Which mid, Askold versus Noob. Gotta definitely be careful. But with Heavenly Jump, you can disengage a lot easier. Okay, they find another kill. This one in the top lane. A soul rip hurts like a mother trucker. Oof, Askold is dead. Does have a fairy fire. Is it going to be enough to keep him alive? Oh, he's low. Actually, the turnaround play from Koval TPing through. Askold stays alive. And the kill gets secured in favor of Hydra. That that's a heads up TP right there. Just what I've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. I'm not opposed to taking the occasional bounty. Do 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 do. 
Badoo doo is a cute Pokemon. It's like a small plant. Even though plant type Pokemon are almost always the worst in every fucking generation. Except for Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf is a kind of cool Pokemon. I remember beating a Pokemon Emerald with Nuzleaf. Like the entire uh, Elite Four, I beat all of them with just my Nuzleaf. The Ice Pokemon, the Ice Trainer, I killed them, like all of them, with just one rollout. It was glorious. Oh, Ike's in Snapfire trying to get away. Cookie, shotgun to slow him down. ICQ. Oh, the attack speed slow right there coming in from the shotgun. Can't do a single thing. A single thing. Not a single thing. Oh, he doesn't have the mana for his tombstone, even though if he had it, he probably still wouldn't drop it. Looking good for the start on Urdu side. Winning the... Uh, the lanes for the most part Ryder did die but he is still getting some decent farm towards mid though Askold needs to be careful because Omar's right on his heels and he definitely wants to rotate in to say hi and goodbye yeah he, he does get spotted out the ward giving all the vision in the world and Omar's just gonna walk it off But you can definitely see that Askold's not loving this mid lane. Because Noob is just zoning him out. Pure zonage. Koval quickly dies. In comes Omar. Still running through. He waited the entire time. Toss back onto Askold. Can they keep the Zeus alive? He is trying to disengage. Has a couple of zaps. So Ixen drop in low. Is he going to die? Yes, the tower will get the kill. But Noob is shredding that mid lane. Koval coming through. They're actually going to go in on the Viper. That could be a big kill. And Noob does die. Omar might be the next one. Okay, maybe a bit of an overextension from uh, Uridu. Okay, Koval. Big hoodwink plays. ICQ is somehow still surviving in the top lane against the Undying. Doomstone does get dropped. He does have 20 magic wand charges. Uh, also, Breathe Fire does damage reduction, but ICQ, he's a DK with level 2 Dragon's Blood and a Bracer. He's just fine. Dyer's courier has been killed. Russell's actually talking it with on that axe, bottom lane. He's gonna quickly get his Vanguard and then Blink Dagger Rush so that he can help out his teammates on the side lanes. Askold is under Ward Vision. Now he does walk away, but in comes Slowey from the side. Actually, can they get the kill onto the Undying? That would be pretty big. Safe lane and dying does die. Ixen has a shotgun in a couple of seconds. He's trying to chase after Askold. Misses the shotgun. And Ixen will stay alive. Askold helps in with the zaps on the side. There is Omar. He is walking with the same speed. And Askold is going to get caught. Oh, no. The Mario jump. The Goomba stomp leap to the side. Just barely keeps Askold alive. Well, noob farming up in the meantime. Top lane, ICQ, Avalanche interrupts him. Toss back, Kikid's also in trouble. And Slowy, he popped his ulti. So he does do the right click damage of God. Okay, they're catching up Kov like right now. This is go time with especially Flesh Golden turned on. That what the fuck does it do? 40% slow, 25% damage amplification. It multiplies your strength by 40%, and it gives you a 30 movement speed bonus. This, this is ridiculous. 
And they're even going to steal the enemy stacks. Okay, Uridu looking good with the Undying safe lane. Like, on paper, it's actually not a bad hero. Going Echo Saber. Definitely has to be an Ag somewhere down the line. I would assume. Um, Havoc. Russell's blink is getting close. ICQ is just going to farm up bottom lane because there's no one there and he's the only one that probably can survive that area of the map for now. Oh, well earned. But this is such a good spirit vessel game. Against like everyone on the enemy side. ICQ actually is going to get ganked. Omar rotates and they cancel the TP. And that is going to be another kill onto ICQ. Urdu is playing a really good aggressive early game. I'm fairly impressed. Then again, they definitely can't take this game late. Because you're up against the Weaver. And Weaver even though... No, nah, Weaver in the late game is really fucking strong. Not even though. It is just a really strong late game hero. Well, the tier 1 tower top will be shortly secured. Keed doesn't have his level 6. And it is indeed unbelievable how easy it is for Noob to get all these kills. Even though he only has two kills, it feels like he should have been getting a lot more. Look at this vision. Look at this vision that they're planting. Of course, this one will be gone toward it because they saw it. But they're playing with such high aggressive vision. Oh, Rari going for Ixen. The slow comes in from Askold. He also has his ulti. In case it's needed. Sue Salty gets used. Quick kill onto Ikes and another one added in the bag. They are 3k net worth behind. It is not too surprising. You are playing against a Viper in the mid. And Viper mid is pretty dominant. But still. But still, Russell does have his blink dagger note done. So I assume he's going to join his teammates momentarily top lane. There's actually a fight coming in. Slowy undying. That would be a big kill if they can get rid of the undying. But he is just a beef daddy. Such a beef daddy. Drops the tombstone. He's going to farm up the neutral camp. Actually, Noob is going to, I guess, steal the way from Slowy. Who does almost have Tombstone level 3. Echo Saber is about to be done. What do you... Like, the biggest issue they have is control. And you don't really... I guess maybe the Viper could go near, but... Wait, is he going Magic Armor? No, right? Okay, when Dragon lands. Slightly better. He needs to get a shard, because their to push, tower pushing power is really weak. Almost non-existent. And that is, I think, the biggest oversight in the Urdu draft. Is that they can't break buildings. At all. Like, Undying is not good for buildings. Tiny is pretty decent, but he doesn't even have tree grab. Plus, a support tiny does do any damage. That's golds. Oh! Does still get called. Don comes back. He does actually still get taken down. Missed the dunk, at the very least. And the tier 1 tower is secure. They're looking just straight fire here on uh, Urdu. Uh, 
Rari. Milstrom is now done. So that should increase his farming by a decent amount. Askel's starting to fall behind ICQ as well, but he's a DK and all DKs are not the best farmer. The, the shard makes it a lot easier, but he's still a long way from the shard. If he's going to go blink dagger first. Um, if he goes shard first, then he actually can keep up pretty nicely. Go for Askel, top lane, Koval. Actually, they're going back in onto Noob. Unfortunately, they don't have bugs. Otherwise, they might have been able to kill him because Noob. I mean, the biggest plus is just the minus armor from the bugs this game. You can have all the strength in the world, but if you've got no armor, Weaver eats you up. Are they, like, the position that they're at, they're, like, only trying to fight on Urdu. They really want to get engagements, but all that Hydra have to do is just dodge him. Because you don't have to fear your buildings all of a sudden dropping all over the place. That's just not going to happen. Middle tower is under attack. So contesting with the enemy team is probably the worst thing you can do. Just chill, relax, farm up, get big, and then absolutely crack them later down the line. Omar also doesn't have a blink dagger yet, so really making place for the die side is significantly tougher. Unless they walk right towards you. Bottom lane, that's where they want to catch out Koval. Tombstone gets dropped, they're going to go for the tier 1 tower. Koval is going to be a hoodwink in trouble. Taken down, there are TPs coming through, but they're TPing onto a tombstone. Askold's here, the kiss is coming in. Oh no, Askold, gotta dodge and weave your way through. Zeus ulti to make sure Russell can get the blink off. And actually, Russell's taking a lot of damage here. Can he get the, da the call going? Not going to be the case, Russell is going to die. And they do find two kills in favor of Hydra. With the tower only taking half the damage necessary to destroy it. And that's just the sheer lack of damage coming out from the team. Okay, they will find Kikid. His, uh, borrow time. Just a little bit too far away. Get that pop. Regeneration. Scanning for enemies. Radiant should look to their middle tower. Oh, they will get themselves a nice snipe in Slowey. That is the Undying Dead. And, I mean, once he gets the BKB, is that really going to be the difference maker? I don't think so. This does help, though. The, the shard on Noob, that is literally the only way that they can take down towers. Did cost them 1400 bucks. It also gives them better Roche capabilities, even though their Roche is kind of atrocious. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And Omar at least has his blink dagger now Dyer to be delivered. Look to their top tower. Radiant should look to their middle tower. <laughs> 
Ferrari, Dragonlance, almost. Actually, he can get the full Dragonlance delivered. Then PKP, then afterwards, probably like Mjolnir. Maybe Daedalus. Shard's also not bad this game. They're actually going to go Roche on Urdu. Also, I grabbed a Coke and I forgot to start drinking it. Oh, that's delicious. Good old classic Coca-Cola. Anyone have any preferences? Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, uh, well, Dr. Pe Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, any freeway cola from the Lidl, if you are European. For me, it's always Coca-Cola. Preferably in a glass bottle, but they don't serve, have those here anymore. Or I don't even know if they ever had them here. I didn't live in the Netherlands back then. Pepsi Blue. Blue, is that like, uh, uh, what's it called? No sugar? Or is it the, like, Coke, Co like the Zero variant? Orange Coke. Pepsi Blue? Oh! That actually doesn't look half bad. I'm a sucker for Fanta. But then only like the, uh, I think Middle Eastern Fanta. That one's so good. Oh, guess is in. Goval does have a snipe, but he can't get himself away. Dunk comes through, kill secured. Pepsi blue, same as regular Pepsi, just color blue. Okay. Yeah, I just saw a picture. It looks like blueberry or something in it. I know that um, in Africa and Middle Eastern countries, you've got... Fa oh, that's a nice big jump. Omar quickly deleted. There's this... Um, you call it... It's Fanta, but it's like or bright orange Fanta. Whereas we have like almost yellow Fanta in the Netherlands. But the bright orange one is super sweet and it's super delicious. At least I find it delicious. Way better than the, the ones that we have over here. But I gotta get it from like a special toko. Most of the time from like a, a, a Turkish place. Because we have a lot of Turkish in the Netherlands. And they bring in a lot of good food. Because who does not love a good kebab hall? Okay, Undying, he's got the BKB, Echo, he's going for the Blink Dagger next. And then, I guess, Ags? And with Ags, the hero becomes strong? Question mark? I mean, with Ags, you steal 10 strength for Decay. Which is kind of nuts. You get, like, a full team hit with the Decay 50 strength added. That's, like... Well, more than 50, half his strength gets added on top. Oh, nice toss back from Omar. Kiki trying to run away immediately with the board time. But in comes Lowry running up the high ground. They find the kill onto Omar. Kiki is actually going to get taken down. Rari time lapse just in the nick of time because Slawi hits like a truck. They do find two kills though on the side of Hydra looking for more. Can they get the catch? Noob does have an Aegis still available. 
But they will run away, not wanting to risk it too much. DK stun comes out. Noob Viper in trouble. The Bushwhack interrupts Ixen. Rari getting back, but the Zeus ulti getting all three with the Aegis pop. Oh, they still lose Rari in the process. There is no way out for the Viper. He's actually going to try and go in onto Askold, but Askold jumps and leaps all the way back to safety. Kova gets the kill secured. And that is a huge team fight win for Hydra, turning the entire odds in their favor. 2K net worth, lead. look at that. Full team wipe with the ages added on top secured. I, I like the, the Omar toss back. The only problem is um, you toss back an undying, which is probably the worst target you can toss back. If you toss back Zeus and. Um, you know, bursted him down. That would be huge. Dying, not so much. Abba. Yes, Abba. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. DK going for the Elder Dragon form, but the uh, the Black Dragon form. <clears throat> Undying. Shard. Upgrades Flesh Golem cooldown by... Reduces it by 35 seconds and causes Undying to spawn one zombie on each attack while transformed. Okay. Askold is a big... That's a five kill streak that they managed to pick up. He's going for the Aghanim Scepter, so he's got more global presence. Weaver, Scotty next against the ridiculous amount of healing that the enemies have. Definitely agree with that choice. Oh, it seems Team Liquid is uh, destroying in game number two. Uh, game number one, sorry. Uh, pure Doom. Seems it's not paying off as much as they want. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. High ground push comes in. Toss back. Again, they use it onto Kikid. And the Abaddon pops his board time. Omar will pay the price in trade. Noob does get away. Zeus Ulti did get used. They're all trying to just disengage. I just... I really don't get the toss back on the Undying. The, the Abaddon. It no make a sense. You just see him pop borrow time and walk away. And then you lose the tiny. At least I got rid of the tier 3 tower. So they're starting to chip down at the Hydra defenses. Noobs are actually doing a surprisingly... Surprising amount of work for a... Viper in the later portions of the game. Which is saying something. Because I normally despise Vipers in the later portions of the game. With a nice added passion against the hero. I despise you. Oh, Imperial did win against Order. Nice. Oh, Slawi actually dies. That is kind of big. I think right now Noob is the scarier one. Of the enemy team. Until he gets his Ags, I think then he becomes really not dangerous. Just Omar. This time, that is a great catch. That is a huge catch. And absolutely perfectly done by Omar. Making sure that the Weaver is out. 65 seconds. No Weaver buyback. Otherwise, he could have probably gone roast. They even get the kill onto Askold. This is looking very problematic. Need to run away. They will find Omar at the very least. But make that three kills in favor of Urdu Thunders. Yep, that is that is everything. They can just take Roche now with a free shard on the side of Urdu. 
moment that Slawi respawns. Not that... I mean, Tombstone plus uh, Flash Golem is really good against Roche. Sorry. Burp. It's gonna be zero nation, zero zero nation versus imperial. Bovell's trying to be a nuisance, but Roche is gonna get picked up. Noob gets the full Roche kill. He also has a Scotty, and uh, that is gonna be the Ages gifted to Ikes. And so you got the snap fight now with the Ag shard. He also has the Wraith back. This is actually a big plus, because there's also Wraith back on the Abaddon, but his Wraith back gets one shot every single time by Lil Shredder. That's why Snapfire is actually heavily picked these days, is because of that one specific addition that you can just one shot the Wraith back. Making it a big plus if it's on your team. Omar Tiny does get Zeus halted, taken down, Kiki, borrow time, run away, but they're going to chase him down and that is the Abaddon in a lot of trouble this time around, the slows, the slows bro, you can't get away, Echo Saber slow on top of the uh, Flesh Golem, still on top of the Zombie slow, just slow central, Rari is trying to farm up, Noob is top net worth. The Noob is just going to continue the pushing power. Building is dropping pretty quick with the poison attack. Armor reduction is uh, kind of immense. What the fuck is Rari doing? ICQ, Black Dragon. They're going to go in onto Russell. Can they kill off the axe? Staying a little bit out of range so he can't get the call in. Still gets the call in. Russell with the extra armor. Does he stay alive? So close. The bugs will not be able to kill him off. Rari needs to shikuchi his way out of there. Doesn't have a time lapse. And Rari is dead. That is your own fault for using time lapse slightly before that. Rari is playing a really bad series. They will at least jump onto Slawi. In return, he drops the tombstone. Actually, Slawi's not going to die. He even drops his... Uh, yeah, he's going in aggressively to... The zombie didn't hit them, so he could get the blink away. But a timeout has been called. And Rari is just... His series is so... Bad. There's no other way to say it than he's just playing bad. He's going. Bitch, when are you getting agged? I'm still waiting for the moment that he finally gets his agged. High ground push. The key is again the toss target. They will find an Abaddon for a tiny. Which is literally the trade they make every single time they walk up the high ground. Kiki, though this time he won't be able to stay alive. They do manage to get the kill onto the Abaddon. And the melee racks are going to be probably forced down. They do have Rari back in action. And they're controlling up Noob, who still has the ages for a give or take a minute. But he can easily finish off the racks. ICQ is actually going in aggressively. He is very fast. 
I think someone should buy drums. Uh, the the boots of bearing. Like I think legit, someone needs to buy boots of bearing on the side of uh, the radiant. Because boots of bearing, if I'm not mistaken, uh, consumes. Does it? Yeah. Boots of Bearing, for the first 1.5 seconds, allies are immune to slows. I think that would be the best item you could possibly get. Somehow they also find Slowey in mid. But yeah, if Hoodwing could, like, get the Boots of Bearing. Because that's one of the things that people almost always forget. Boots of Bearing are... Have very solid functions. Yes, it's a really expensive buy. But it does add in a lot of good pluses for your team. Axe Skull comes in. That's a big catch. And that is Rari. Time lapse does get popped in time. Russell's actually taking a lot of damage. Pops his BKB. Will be able to disengage. Kikid's not going to be so lucky though. And Russell stays alive. But again a moment where just half a second later. And Rari is dead. Askel still doesn't have his Axe finished. Now he should momentarily have it done. But they're kind of being torn... Pulled all over the place here on the side of uh, Hydra. The lineup that barely has any control except for Axe Call, Snapfire Cookie plus Shotgun, and Avalanche slash DOS is able to kill off a Weaver four times. That is baffling. Noob. Satanic, I guess? Yeah, full satanic on the Weaver, uh, onto the uh, Viper. There is, of course, a Scotty finished up on the Weaver, so that's a big plus. This is also one of the things that I don't get. Why not get the Shard? Reduce the cooldown to by two seconds, which, okay, that's not great. And causes it to latch onto and reveal invisible units. I don't even think they have invis uh, glimmers or something on the enemy side. No, they don't. But the most important factor is Geminid's attack will also hit units within 1200 range of the original target that have the Swarm Beetle attached to it. So if you get uh, Geminid's attack at level 25, the plus one Geminid's attack, and you have bugs on everyone, you hit them for a godlike amount of damage. Especially if you get a Daedalus later on, you get Milson Prox plus the Iscati debuff on everyone on the enemy team. It's so good. But so many teams decide, just don't buy it. Jump in. They're going in. And this gets popped on Omar. Staying alive. Kikid again. Borrow time. Used to stay alive. Russell's actually dead. That is pretty big. Rari needs to be careful. Because Slowey hits like a truck. And they will find Kikid. It's all... This time they don't have the... Uh, the... Okay. That is a lot of damage coming out. ICQ is already dead. Snoob hurts. A lot. They bought back onto Kikid, but they don't have the DK for a solid, yeah, 80 seconds, straight up. Roche could respawn in that time. He even has an Aghanim Scepter, so he's got, what, 35%? 25% increased magic resistance. 3.5k, 30, uh, 25 extra phys uh, magic resistance. He's got a bunch of, okay, actually, Dragon's Blood. No, I think he was BKB'd. Okay, Omar is dead for Kikid again. Did he go for another toss back? That's actually a dieback, by the way. This is just sad for my wallet. Your wallet is still alive, my dude. On paper, Weaver should still be the strongest core of this game. On paper. I don't know when a Undying scales to be absolutely godlike, but I'm still waiting for that moment. Maybe when he gets an Axe. Maybe for free, the Axe from Roche. I think that would probably be a very crucial moment. Oh, he pops the BKB just in time. That could have been such a filthy kill.
Mm -hmm. Ask old going Octarine. You do have Rari farming on the side. He's got his Mjolnir completely finished. There is a lane ward here, so they do know where he's at. Well, Roche is a Refresher Shard, luckily enough, because the free Ags would have been disastrous if Slowey managed to pick it up. Refresh Shard is still annoying, because, I mean, if he's going to go double Axe Call, that could be pretty big. Avalanche Stoss in, Rari pops the BKB, he's going in for Slowey. The Undying actually does not even take any damage. Askold is dead, and that is a huge one. Askold faltering. Kikid is going to be next, he's being chased by the zombies all over the place. They do get the kill onto Omar, but Rari, my guy, my guy... What are you doing? Why are you so inclined to kill off the tiny but sacrifice your... He didn't have BKB. He knew he didn't have BKB. Why'd you go? Why'd you go? Jump in, ICQ. Just chilling. Got e blade rid by his teammates. Asgold wants to go for new, but again, he's got that Aegis for the 50 millionth time. That's actually all three Aegis that uh, Udu had that went on him. Nice double man DK stun with the AoE Dragon Tail stun. Cheese gets eaten. Ixen staying alive for a little bit longer. The Aegis is going to get popped. Ixen trying to disengage. Noob will be uh, getting his Aegis popped. Russell's looking for a dunk target. Or nice interrupt to make sure he can't get the call off. And that is Russell Axe taken care of. Noob, can he disengage? He does have a Hurricane Pike ICQ. Uh, blink, DK stun. So close. He does get the DK stun in. But is there going to be more than enough damage to kill off the Viper? I'm not too sure. Especially not with Omar back alive. They're going to back off on the side of Hydra. Another fight that goes all over the place. Didn't force out a buyback at least on Ixen, but it's a Snapfire 5 buyback. Who's also almost done with the AM disc. And again, someone buy the fucking Boots of Bearing on the Radiant side. The value you get for that item well, is immense. Who's Sprout versus Vitality? started vertigo Jump in. Can they kill off Omar? And this keeps him alive for a little bit longer. Slowey on the back end. Drops the tombstone. And there's 50 million slows again. Russell trying to get the call in. Does pop his BKB. Refreshing gets used. The second call. Rari is in trouble. Can he get away on the Weaver? No, he cannot. And again, Rari doesn't get his time lapse off. Rari, Rari, why are you hugging your DK? Is the big question indeed. Nice. Stun coming in. They will find the axe at the very least. Nice catch from Kofal. But Rari died six times so far. And uh, I don't think that's going to be the last time. Top tower is no more. Invisibility.
Well, they are uh, getting a full set of racks. There's very little carrying coming out from the Undying, to be fair. But Noob is actually going ham this game, and they're going to mega their opponents. I don't really think that they can disrupt it. Omar tries to get the Avatars in. Four staffs all over the place. Omar E-Blade. He's dropping low. Zoo Salty gets used. They find the kill on Omar, and they're actually going to keep the high ground for now. Sort of possibly intact. Noob needs a raise. Because I still have not seen any reason why this Undying was picked as a safe laner. If they can kill Noob, that would disrupt the team fight from Uru so much. But Noob, he doesn't even have a BKB and he doesn't die. That is actually pretty impressive. Blade damage to the kill him off. Russell Axe is close, but he pops his BKB. He'll be able to disengage. He also actually has the Timeless Relic for the debuff duration increase. Which is kind of how they always kill off the Weaver. Who still doesn't have a shard? Why the fuck does he not have a shard, bro? Just get the shard. Geminids attack damage as well. Bro, I... I don't get Rar. I don't get it. Why would you not get a you get splash that like so good. It is so freaking good. It's like one of the reasons why I think Weaver as a safe laner works is because of the shard specifically. Okay, Kakeed. For a time has already been popped. He's trying to run away. The kisses come in. Can they get the kill on the Abaddon? Yes, very likely so, because noob. His attack speed is divine. Jesus. ICQ jumping in. Gotta be careful. Bye bye comes out. Roshan might be up in three seconds. Askel does have a uh, arcane rune and a refresh orb, so he's got the double zap zap. Can do a lot of damage in a very short amount of time, but look at this bottom lane being pushed out, though. Omar died 12 times this game. Oh, not again. Rari, you frick. Oh, he oh, is that does have a buyback, but that means he needs to buy back if they want to go for Roche. However, there was no Elder Dragon for him, so they're just going to back off and, I guess, give away 4th Roche. That means all 4 Roches for Urdu. And the free Aghanim Scepter for Urdu as well, which probably will go on the Undying. And that should increase his survivability and output significantly. Yeah, Rari is playing a wee... He, like, they have one way to really catch him this game, and that's the call. And he gets called every time. Huh. 
it is a really good game from Russell on the axe. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he's playing really well. But he shouldn't be able to play. Get that many guys just stop playing. Russell, they will blow him up. So no axe this time. If you would buy back on Rari, you could contest Roche. Actually, in comes Slawi. Drops his tombstone. ICQ. We're going to invis up with the Trixus Cloak. Get out. Gets the sun in aggressively. Omar does not have the aim disc available. Ixen dropping low. Ixen is dead, but the problem is they don't have the weave, so ICQ is forced to TP out. The Basher will not be able to get the stun in. They find three kills here in favor of Hydra. And Roche is about to respawn with Rari coming back alive. So, yeah, Rari can just walk into the pit, get himself a free a Aegis Cheese Aghanim Scepter Refresher. He's just got to have to scooch his way all the way over there. There's even double damage bottom. Well, they are trying to go for Roche. I don't get why Rari is the one that rushes out of the pit. Oh, Slawi going in onto Kikid. Rari, I would have just gone to finish off Roche if I was you. Now, like, okay, he's going to try and pump out damage on the side. Don't hit the guy that has his disc proc. It's not going to do anything. For that duration, just target someone else that's standing next to it. Double, there's also the double tombstone drop, so they can't defend Roche. And Rari walks in to say hi. He needs to be very careful. We'll be able to Shikuchi back, but they get a free Ags, Cheese, uh, Refresher, everything they want. Ags is even in the backpack for the Undying right now. And Slawi also has his level 25, so he's got the reincarnation cooldown. In that fight... While they were all fighting here, Rari could have finished off Roche inside. Get the bugs on Roche. Roche had like minus 10 armor. He needed to wait there two seconds longer and he would have killed Roche. And now you don't have an Undying anymore for the high ground defense. Abaddon, sorry. They have an Undying for the high ground offense. And he also has an Aghanim's Blessing that he's still lurking about with. Swap it in, use it. No? And that should be... Well, Mega's not yet, because of course there is a uh, Rax bottom. New pops the BKB. Bitch, use it. Omar going in. Toss back. The Yeeticus Maximus Asgold is Dedicus. Does buy back. And there's the second tombstone drop by Slowey. Now he'll eat up that, that Ags. So he'll steal 10 strength per catch and oh my lord, Rari is dead. What a surprise, never saw that one come in. Omar Tiny is going to get taken down. They're looking for more, but Noob of course has the Aegis available. If he loses life, which is still taking quite some time, he should be still Gucci for now. The Mortimer's Kiss is with the level 25 talent coming in. Brrr. Bombardments of massive flames. ICQ is going to get stunned on the side. Slowy is there. Steal the strength. Why the fuck does he still... He lost 30 strength, but the Undying gained 18? That makes no sense. And now they get themselves mega secured. Russell gets away. He is also done with Refresh Orb on the uh, Axe. Rari, take my energy, not my skins. Yes, Mortimer. Come to Axe.
Abaddon even has an axe for the borrowed time AoE. Like, he has a freaking axe. That's how long this game is going on. Increases his ult from 6 seconds to 9 seconds. That's actually kind of nuts. 9 seconds of borrowed time? And Rari, as you can see, is bottom of all the cores in terms of net worth. And now he's going for the shard. He's finally realizing, oh, that item is actually pretty good. I get my bugs on the enemy team every single fight. Maybe if I also hit them with it. Oh my god. It's more for fun the next level play. And they're just farming Abyssal Blade next for the Undying. He's going... Yeah, he, he's also got Overwhelming Blink, which scales with his strength. And seeming you steal a fuckload of strength, it does work pretty well on the hero. Omar is going Wind Waker. When top teams pick Undying Carry, you know who made it first. Yeah, but they're not gonna... Because... He still had this Russell guy. So I just fucking realized that it was you, Russell. <laughs> yes, you played really fucking well. You fucked up Rari's game so much. And also, no. <laughs> you could have picked any carry and it would have been okay. Because New played really well, you played really well. And Rari played really poorly both games. Okay, Slowey, Undying. Blown up. Oh, Askel caught by Omar. He does have his board time available. He's trying to heal him up and won't be enough because the Mortimer Kiss has come in a bit too heavily in the process. Kiki slowed down as well. His borrow time is over. Omar with the toss back, who is playing a godlike tiny. Kiki is down for the count. So is Askel, and Rari does not do any damage whatsoever. Oh, everyone jumping in the line to soak up that sharpshooter. It's pretty nice teamwork there. But they will just finish it off. Easy peasy, Lemon Squeeze. Russell actually dies, sucker, noob. Learn to play. But noob is uh, still there to pump out some damage. Omar on the side. They bought back coming through. They're trying to finish off the game. Omar gets e-bladed, gets interrupted. But Ikes and he's just right-clicking the Ancient because that's all that matters. And there's the GG call. That Weaver is the worst ever. It burns my eyes. Yes, ran a person on YouTube. Rari played really poorly. On the TB as well, he got caught like six, seven times while he was farming. And this time as well, Omar played really well both games, even though he did die 15 times. I think uh, the jumps onto the Abaddon, though, towards the bottom lane where they tried to push the high ground, that was kind of shit. But for the most part, played really well. Um, and Noob, this is one of the only times I've seen a Viper actually do anything in the late game. That says a lot, because I've seen a lot of Vipers. But I think the most important part was, of course, muted right here. This, this, this weird axe that just randomly jumps onto Rari 17 times this game. Who died nine times on the Weaver. And on net worth, ended the game slightly above Slowey. But that kind of also tells you the entire picture, considering he was farming half the game. 30 minutes in, he was uh, about top net worth. So long top. And then, took, 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 dead. Kind of happens if you get jumped 50 times.
I wouldn't actually have even minded if he just went like Aeon Disc on Weaver to counteract the fact that he gets jumped every single time. Yes, it would make sure that you can't damage enemies and stuff, but if you die, you also can't do shit, so. Well, while we're waiting, because uh, VP versus No Sorry, I think, is the next one that we'll be doing. I will be jumping into... Where the fudge is... APC, that's the one I'm looking for. <laughs> Game two. And even Sanj and Yasha maybe was enough. Yeah, anything that would be... Russell, he did not have shard the entire game. He was playing a weaver. He had the Geminids attack, all the, gem, the Geminid talents and the bug talents. He didn't get shard. 1400 bucks investment. You had bugs on your entire team, every single fight. Just get the freaking shard. It's like when a Lesh mid does not buy a shard until, you know, 50 minutes. And you're thinking, you're defending high ground the entire time. Why the fuck are you not buying a shard? It is legit free damage. Anti-losing just to screw secret chance for Arlington. Nah, Liquid's gonna... Uh, they're, they're gonna it win. They're gonna win. Bad. I'm quickly gonna check out what the odds are for game two. Dyer's turn to ban. Entity game two. Ten seconds. Okay, nice to see you guys next time. Hey, bye, Russell. Uh, by the way, uh, give uh, my props to Snowy on the win. Tell him uh, Mars mid still sucks. I already know that the, the heroes that got picked, by the way. I quickly scouted it out. And that's why I went for uh, Entity. They just lost with Enigma, though. Do, 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 do. Big versus Astralis is also almost starting. Oh yeah, I need to add the two new games. It's Mouse versus Tai Lu, which I assume is just gonna be Mouse two. Um, will they two out? Tai Lu maybe. I mean, nah. I think it's gonna be a Mouse two out. Bristleback. <laughs> and I think uh, Zero Zero Nation will beat Imperial. I think. It's going to be Fallen versus Cold Sierra, which is kind of cool. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds. Zizzer Nation over Imperial. Turn to ban. It is Dyer's ban. And Mouse. Minus 1.5 over Tyloo. NT will play Alliance next, which they will surely win. Unless... Ten seconds. Actually, you, I am quickly going to check out the Liquipedia Five listings seconds. for, like, the chances for a secret to make it. Can they at least force tiebreakers? Secrets last game. Okay, OG is through with 5 1. Secret are 3 and 3. The 
If Tundra loses the next... Wait, who's Tundra up against? Tundra's up against Gaming Gladiators. It is Radiance, man. And Goon Squad. Okay, Tundra's through. Liquid is stay against... Styles, oh, no, no, no. Liquid is up against... OG as well. So if Liquid loot No. Yeah, if Liquid loses to OG and they win now and Team Secret wins their game, then you at least have tiebreaker still to be played. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. So Entity... If either of them... If Entity loses, they're going to be four and three at the max... And Team Secret can also be 4 and 3. So there will be tiebreakers. Very likely for Division 1. Hell, even Goon Squad still has a chance. Goon Squad needs to play against Secret and Tundra. To ban. They can have some very fun shenanigans going on in, uh, in the Swaparoos. By the way, what's up, Wasser? How are you doing? Uh, also, I need to change the... Title of the stream. No, sorry, versus Virtus Pro is next. No, sorry, versus Virtus Pro. Bane, Dawnbreaker, Enigma this time. They actually didn't ban Nyx Assassin out. That's kind of surprising. Was Boxy. I didn't see the game, but I assume Boxy played a really good Nyx. That probably means that they want to make the Tiny for Boxy. Venge, though. Uh, BKB, Piercing, Enigma, Interrupt of the Black Hole. It's a pretty big plus. Because Swap. Here's BKB. And even if, uh, in the case that it would not be saving someone, you could still swap to just reduce the damage, I guess. Radiant's turn to pick. Sky Wrath What's up with this haunting soundtrack? Oh, this is just a Lord of the Rings, Lothlorien music and ambience soundtrack that I had turned on. Now we're going to listen to Middle Ages Tavern music. Hey, sup, SMG. How you doing? Your title says no sorry versus VP. Yes, but that game doesn't start for another 30 minutes. So probably a Storm Stormer bat mid. Bane 5, Enigma, half lane, downbreaker, 4. Oh, I'm okay. Got NT for map 2. So do I. Five seconds remain. I doubt they'll win, but that's every entity game. Yeah, pretty much. Most of the time they just play a really shitty safe laner. I mean, to be fair, I just did cast a game where there was actually a really shitty safe laner and they won. Or do? Thunders!
Reverse Sky automatically see it as the losing draft. Um, yeah, but you know, there's some people that are just really good at what they do. Box is one of them. Dino's turn to pick. <laughs> Let's even say exceptional at what he does. Ten seconds. Five seconds remain. <laughs> Radiance turn to pick. Behold the horn of madness. Magnus last pick for Team Liquid. So you got that big Duncan ulti in there. With the uh, RP. Plus you can also give the, the nice cleave to Bristleback to make him farm a little bit faster. Ten seconds remain. It's actually Five interesting seconds. to see a Batrider mid against either a Tiny or Magnus. Because Batrider mid against Tiny. Like if you try and Firefly kill him, he just tosses you. Kind of like a Mars mid against Batrider. You just chew him away. Bloodseeker is a really good pick because you are up against three cores that are all three strength heroes and Bloodseeker's um, shard is insanely good against strength hero. So he does eat nom 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 a lot this game. A lot of nom 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 nom. Oh. <laughs> So what do you guys think? Who do you think is going to win this? I'm going to quickly bio, by the way. After the uh, the game starts, because, well, I need to. And also I need to chillax a bit before the VP versus No Sorry game. So I'll BRB. For a tiny bit. Prepare yourselves for the main event. Masterful mark. Don't be as that. for ultimate glory continues.
Trained hard to get here. It's time now for the final fight. Risk a fall from starry heights. Denied.
Hey, Sprout's coming back. Matt, of course, going Ags, pure Millstrom, BKB. It's kind of an interesting game of uh, Black Hole versus... Has he used Black Hole so far? Probably not. Black Hole versus RP. Battle of the cooldowns. Well, they are 12-5 ahead. You kind of gonna need the Bloodseeker to start making plays soon. That was actually really fun. On the dawn. Batrider only has one kill participation so far. And Sai and Mickey don't even have blinks yet. be going for that spirit vessel okay actually he's got it done but you know you're not gonna get charged if you don't fight Actually, we'll just chill. Keep it on direct to camera for now. I'm just gonna chill. Fly in bed for a bit. Where's my doggo? Dyer should look to their top tower.
should look to their top tower. <laughs> Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is in danger. Dyer should look to their top tower. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Serving truth instead of life, but in the end, I was. <laughs> Actually, uh, I think I'm just gonna quickly restart the stream. I think and do it from the lobby. <laughs> 